morning guys. It's 5.30 a.m. We have a flight at 6.45 a.m. We left the house bright and early, plenty of time to kill, plenty of time to get there, nice, cool and calm, breezy morning. About halfway to the airport, realized I forgot my wallet. Now I know you can travel without a wallet, but it's not, it's not ideal. And I'm gonna be gone for a few days. I don't wanna be without my wallet. So we had to make a last minute decision. I jumped out of the car, took an Uber home, grabbed my wallet, and now I'm Ubering to the airport. Crossing my fingers that I make it in time to be on the same flight with Tiffany the kid because I figured Tiffany figured I give her the credit she'd rather make her flight be on the speed sitting next to the kids on their flight and then maybe have to wait in Dallas for me to get there eventually right or her dad or her sister can pick her up from the airport or something like that but not miss our flight and like be on standby for X amount of hours waiting for the next flight and have to possibly sit in other like random seats so. As it stands right now, Tiff and the kids are in an Uber to the airport. I'm an Uber, in a separate Uber, on the way to the airport, about half an hour behind them. So if all things go perfect, like perfect, no traffic, no accidents, I'm gonna make it just in time. What a way to start the trip, huh? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're missing somebody. <laughs> so we got halfway um, to the airport and daddy realized he forgot his wallet at the house. That so, we can't forget. <laughs> yeah. We dropped him off at a gas station. He's taken an Uber back home and then to the airport. Hopefully he still makes his flight, but I didn't want to risk the three of us risking our flight as well and then having to sit at the airport and then possibly not sitting next to each other on the airplane. So we're doing this on our own. Us three are going together. Hopefully daddy will make it with us. But if he doesn't, he doesn't have, have to, to check in all his bags. Yeah, so he yeah, might he doesn't have to go here. So we can do this, right? Yeah. Okay, we made it to the airport. Curbside uh, baggage chicken. We got here in time for breakfast. Some time to spare, huh? Daddy should be walking up any minute. Yeah. Well guys, I made it. <laughs> I don't know how I made it, but I made it. We just went through security. I'm headed to the gate right now. They're probably already boarding, because it's like uh, 6.25, and the flight's at 6.45. They usually start boarding about 40 minutes ahead of time, so I'll be boarding. Typically, kids are probably already getting on the plane. I'm just now walking up. Totally my style. Hey, hey, Clintus. Nice of you to join us. Mom went to the bathroom. We got you a bagel. Okay. They're, they're probably boarding. I'm surprised your mom's not freaking out. No, she was really chill. She was really chill? Yeah. <laughs> you did it. You did it. You did it without me. So you could totally travel without me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Any, mini, mini, mo. Looks like we're getting the truck. Too many, too much luggage. <laughs> Daddy gets to drive a Dodge, Dodge Ram. I think we're getting this one. I don't think it matters. This one has a black I can get scratched. So we're here a few hours earlier than Nima and Papa. Uh, Teresa and Ken are still at work, so we're kind of uh, in chill mode right now. We've got this place called Rock and Brew, something that uh, Teresa has recommended to us. Of course, patio weather, which is awesome. Trees, misters, that sort of thing. Uh, the menu looks amazing. Really excited to order some food. Check this out. This is pizza salad, dude. Pizza salad. Some Baja style fish tacos and some tri-tip. They all look amazing. Get her. Uh, <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we are here at Ken and Teresa and Bella's house. How are you? We missed you. We're super excited to be hanging out with you this week. So this this is their their new house. They've only been here for about a year, and it's our first time visiting. So the first time seeing everything, and we are currently in Ken's media room, Ken's room, if you will. Big comic book fan. He's got awesome giant size posters. He's got a shuffleboard. He's got a, a fat head of Batman. Looks super dope. A huge TV. Some pictures. There's some art. Some artwork going on there. He's even got some cool uh, like. Uh, old comics. These are like legit comics in, in like frames. And of course, my favorite, he's got the first Wolverine right there. I, I have that somewhere in a box. Hanging out with Batman. Let me see how high Ken can touch. Oh, got his head. Of course, Sierra is super excited about the, the Flash bust. Those are called busts. That was at the beginning of the Flash because he has a red. You're right, that's season, first season. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you don't go Ken up to talk about Flash. And you too. You're all you're all caught up now too, right? Yeah. You're, you're halfway through season two. Yeah. I need to go to Dodge. Mm -hmm. All right, Sierra, what's going on? Bella's teaching us how to play this game. This is a new game. It's called Labyrinth. It's called what? Labyrinth. Oh. Is it fun? We're gonna find out. We're gonna play after dinner. It's oh. really fun. Okay. Gotcha. So the girls are going up for a little uh, golf cart ride around the neighborhood. Ken already took us guys out, so now Teresa's taking the girls out. And uh, got a nice neighborhood, nice little neighborhood here. I don't remember the name of the community or the actual, even the city that we're in. We're not quite in Dallas, we're in a suburb of Dallas which is common practice in the big cities. But uh, in any case, very nice, very nice. All right, so this is Bella's lovey wall. Is that what you call it, a lovey wall? She has a lot of stuffed animals. They're all called, they're called loveys. And they're in different like cubes, right? So you got like safari animals, zoo animals, you got gators, some bears, build-a-bears, doggies, bunnies, more bunnies, unicorns, doggies, ra rainbows. And Bryce, what are you pulling out? Yeah. Uh, beanie boos. Yeah. Beanie boos. Can you? Uh, are those like beanie babies? Yeah. Oh, you got a lot of them, huh? Yeah. You gonna you gonna have a beanie baby party? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, no jumping on the bed. No jumping on the bed. Wait, don't jump on mine. Whoa. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Look. Bounce, bounce. You guys have matching pajamas. Okay. Bryce, where's yours? Where's yours, yeah. Bryce? <laughs> we should have got him one. Oh my gosh, you should have worn those, Bryce. Guys, let them go. Let them go. Two, three. Whee! Guys, get all Don't get them stuck up there. Well, guys, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Eye in the sky for more videos. Last five years vlogs down in the description below, as well as other links and stuff that we have going on. Stay tuned. We have an action-packed week for you guys here in Texas. Uh, Ken, Bella, Teresa are going to give us 
uh, show us all the sights, take us around town. Uh, I think the girls tomorrow are getting their toes done. I will be doing some live streams over on twitch.tv slash Clintus, so stay tuned for that. I did have my streaming laptop here ready to rock and roll, so I'm excited about that. And uh, the kids are excited. Kids, kids don't really remember, remember being in Dallas eight years ago, so uh, they're excited about it. So I uh, hope you guys are too. We'll see you tomorrow. Vlog on. This is Matthew Thomas from Alpharetta, Georgia. Clint's TV is the best channel on YouTube. Vlog on. <laughs>